Hi, we're here today to install a Dirty Dog Net on a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. We have here is a 2000 uh, Wrangler Unlimited. This net will fit on uh, 2007 to 2012 and probably later models as the video progresses. Um, what we'll do is I'll show you what uh, comes in each kit that you order. If you order the spider sides, what you'll get with your spider sides is you get two sides like this. You'll get a left and right. Again with the tag in the back on the back side. Uh, defining which is left and right. Um, in the bag you'll all have, each side will come with a uh, two straps, or I should say four straps, one too long and too short, uh, one for either side. You'll get a, uh, you'll see here a loop and a, and, a, and a connection buckle there, and also this one here which actually comes in your main bag or your main kit, but this is what you'll use in, in your, uh, your spider size to install. Uh, the kit comes in two different styles. It comes with uh, regular sides and spider sides. Both kits come with the same back piece that you see here. Uh, in that kit you're going to see uh, the, the two bars to make up the tailgate bar. They go together like uh, through the, uh, the, the net and attach together in the center. It comes with uh, six straps and uh, you'll have an assortment of buckles and clips as well too that uh, come with the kit. Yeah, we're going to start with the uh, install of the spider side. Uh, instructions will show you to start the back first, but I think we're going to find it easier if we start you with the side install. And we'll take our pieces we need for the side, which is each one of these and two straps. Okay, what we'll do is start with the, uh, the side install here. What you need is your longer of your two straps. Okay, and basically you're going to put it in to the top here. Now, on this Jeep, we have a track top installed. You won't have this metal piece here, so we'll put the uh, the top loop. And when you look at this, is uh, I guess I should explain the orientation of this. Uh, when you look at this, you have uh, loops all the way along. The very bottom is a loose strap without a uh, loop on the end of it. That's how you know that's the bottom of the of the net. So we'll go right now, and, and we'll uh, put this in. So take a very top loop. We'll hook it around the ladder lock. And again, you don't have to go really tight. This will fit right to the back of the, uh, the roll bar. The first one, it just fits right back there. You're going to need a 13 millimeter wrench to get in there. We've provided a washer and a nut, which basically just put over the existing uh, bolt that's in there. Put it on with your fingers and uh, put it on tight and then just with a wrench, tighten her up and you're ready to go for this piece and this will just hang out like this. Here in your kit you have uh, two straps like this for your spider sides and you've got uh, nuts and bolts. Uh, if you have your existing hardtop uh, nut still in place, you can leave that in there. You put your bolt in from the top side with a rubber, rubber washer to protect your paint. That through, you don't need to use the nut on the underside because of the, the carpeting and all the, the material that's underneath. All you have to do is just hold that strap in place and tighten your bolt all the way down, and we'll get her in there. You take an allocate tight up. So, when you're finished, you should have a strap, should look like this one side with the female clip goes off towards the rear, the side with the ring goes towards the front, which will connect into here after you've installed all your sides. This is the last piece you'll actually install on your sides. And this one clips on here, just like we should see after. Now we're going to start with the the rear piece. Uh, the way I'm holding it is the Dirty Dog logo. You can it, it'll face out, reading up. So what we're going to do is take our second row down. Uh, there's a strap and a ladder lock hanging at the end. This is where you're going to start to get your orientation of how to set this up. So what we'll do is we'll start with uh, start with one side. What you're going to do, if you have a spider side, you've got a loop. You're going to put the loop around, the strap around through the loop, and into your ladder lock. And just like this. And again, don't put it really tight. If you put it super tight, you're, you're not going to be able to get your other side in. So just put it on very loosely for now. Just let it hang there. We'll go to the other side. Again, you grab that second strap down with the, it's got the strap and the ladder lock. You're going to feed it through. If it's the standard side, so you're going to take that top loop that's right in that spot there and you're going to run it through your ladder lock. If you get the orientation set up on this strap, 
all the rest of the straps will fall in place correctly. So what we'll do is we'll get it pulled through the ladder lock here. And what we'll do is now is we'll sort of tighten it and center it. And where you want this, this strap is you want it right at the top of the roll bar, right where, right where the roll bar starts to, to go over towards the top. Come around on this side. Pull her tight. Okay, so we've got that position now. Okay, next step is to take one of your straps that came in the kit. These will be all shorter straps. They all should be the same length. You're going to slide on the female, female buckle. Okay, your next one's going to go on. Uh, you can start here down at your bottom. This is a good place for orientation. So basically, you're going to go through your bottom loop on your side. It's going to be the spider side one, or it'll be your standard size. It'll still be a loop down there for her. So we'll put that in, put it on nice and tight, and positioning wise you want it right down here at the bottom, the bo bottom of the, uh, the roll bar where it sits at the bottom of the, uh, the cage. We'll go do the other side, and feed through your female buckle. I'll come around the outside here. it through again through the bottom loop of the side. And pull that one nice and tight. Okay, we got it on there, tighten on. Okay, so now your sides are starting to get pulled into place as well as your back's getting installed. Okay, next step. We've already got them pre-installed on here. You probably won't be so lucky to have them that way. Uh, but what you'll want to do is put on, and I'll show you, take one off just so you show you how they go on. They go on the same way as the ladder locks. Feed through the, the inside slot, flip it over into there, and that's how it goes on. So. What you want to do is we're going to install this one first. Count down, one, two, three, four. Your fourth one goes in there. Tighten it up a little bit. Go this side. Same thing, count one, two, three, four down. And that, if you get these positioned properly, all your rest of your straps will go in a lot cleaner. Okay, so now we've got these two left over here. And what we're going to do is continue putting these straps on around the roll bars. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to install the tailgate bar. Now, if you're a soft top owner, a regular Jeep soft top, you're going to have these tailgate clips already installed. If you're a hard top owner, you don't run with soft tops, you only run a half top, you're going to have to pick up a set of these clips. We sell them, but you can also buy them from your local dealer. They're basically the same price. So these clips just go on, put them off the back, put them onto here, good solid snap, and they're in place. And that's ready. Next step is, at the bottom of your neck, you're going to have little slots to slide this tailgate bar through. You're gonna slide through from each side, half the tailgate bar, take the other half of the bar, put it through here. Put it through, meet in the center, and Boom, she slides in, tailgate just like so, and you're ready to go. And that's your tailgate bar. Okay, now we should have, you should have your spider sides look like this. You've got all your straps hooked through your loops here. And you've got all your free straps hanging here. And you've got your one loop here that's hooked onto your vehicle. So now there's a sequence you've got to go to install these straps so you have a nice equal look to it. And basically what you're going to install first is you're going to take your first strap here, put it through the loop, put it through the ladder lock, feed it through. Again, you're going to do everything loose right now. You're not going to do anything really tight. Okay, you get that one in the place. And then you're going to take your countdown to your fourth strap down. You're going to put this one on next. And again, feed it through. Put it through your ladder lock. And the reason we do it this way, it helps you position the, the, the neck correctly. Once you get these two put in place, your other straps will fall in. So now what we're going to do is get these straps. You're going to equally pull from strap to strap, from back to side and get a nice straight pull from here and here and you get a nice 
nice clean pull all the way across. Once you get that done, you can take these two inner straps here, doesn't matter which one you want to go with first, feed them through your ladder lock. Again, you don't have to pull real tight, just as you go through, feed it through, do your ladder lock again. tighten each one and uh, basically take a look make sure everything sits nice and flat and again to tighten sometimes it helps if you pull on this side where you're pulling your ladder lock it helps give you that extra tension you're looking to pull you want to give a nice little crank tight so you get a nice pull tight so now you've got your first first four straps installed with the ladder lock now the next one your next bottom strap here it sits here you've got ladder lock on the back side and basically what you're doing is going through your it's your last ring install through the loop find your ladder lock Again, start this one off, just put it on loosely so you can center it properly. Just put it loosely. And you can take your back one, of course, where we installed this uh, piece earlier. Run it through there, through the ladder lock. And so now you're just going to pull equally so your net is pulled nice and tight equally on both sides. Pull there, pull there, and sits. And the last step you do is just pull this, adjust this tightness so that your uh, your rear nets adjust in place. And there's your sides installed. Now you go around and do your other side. And now you have your spider sides installed, and you can enjoy your Jeep. You can add a, a net or a sunscreen to your rear seat. You can add one to your front seat. All of our products are modular and designed to work together with each other. Enjoy your Jeep.